Dijoxin. Dijoxin is a medication that you've definitely heard of, you're definitely going to give, and you're definitely going to be tested on, so it's very important to understand. The trade name for Dijoxin is Lenoxin. Indication is for CHF, AFib, A-flutter. You're going to see it a lot in conditions where the heart is weak or overworked, okay? So that's kind of what you need to be thinking about. The action of this medication is a positive inotropic effect, and what that really means is it increases the force of the myocardial contraction, okay? So what people a lot of times talk about with this is you think of it kind of like a sponge, okay? The heart is a sponge, and as it becomes weak, as it becomes overworked in these types of conditions like CHF, AFib, A-flutter, like we talked about, it is not able to squeeze as effectively. So positive inotropic effect means that it's going to squeeze harder, okay? So we give the digoxin, help the heart to squeeze, and as you, you can kind of think with, with CHF, you know, we have this backup of fluids, this fluid overload, we need the heart to be able to squeeze a little bit better. Also, it prolongs the refractory period and decreases conduction through the SA and the AV node. That's how it's going to help with AFib and A-flutter. We have our SA node, we have our AV node. Uh, we want to really kind of slow, especially like, okay, with AFib where our atria are, are, are beating really, really rapidly. We want to kind of slow that rate as it goes through the AV node. And that's really going to help kind of control this AFib or this A flutter. Essentially, digoxin is given to increase cardiac output and slow the rate of the heart. Therapeutic class is antiarrhythmic and inotropic. Pharmacologic class is digitalis glycoside. Some of the nursing considerations, these are the two that you need to keep in mind no matter what. First of all, you want to monitor the pulse for one full minute prior to dosing the patient. And you want to hold the medication if the, the pulse is lower than 60. Now, as you get to know your patient, as you understand them, you know, there can be some room to wiggle there, but this is what you're going to be tested on. Always assess the pulse for one full minute. Assess the apical pulse for one full minute and hold if less than 60. And also keep in mind that there's a such thing as digoxin toxicity. What this is is blurry vision, yellow-green visual disturbances. So if if you give a patient digoxin and they start to experience visual changes, you know they're experiencing digoxin toxicity. Some things that can increase digoxin toxicity are hypokalemia and hypercalcemia. So one thing to keep in mind with this as well is when you're giving diuretics, that diuretics can alter our electrolyte levels and they can increase the chance of the patient experiencing toxicity. Uh, assess the patient for any sort of cardiac arrhythmias, including bradycardia, like we talked about, and it's going to be contraindicated with uncontrolled ventricular arrhythmias. And, and assess the patient for any sorts of hypersensitivity, and just make sure that you're watching electrolyte levels, make sure you're monitoring that. Biggest things, watch for digoxin toxicity through these visual disturbances, this yellow-green halo effect, I think we'll call it, and monitor for uh, the apical pulse for one full minute prior to giving. All right, that is Dijoxin. This has been another episode of the nursing.com MedMaster podcast. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN alumnus, and I want to give you our free download of the 50 most commonly prescribed medications. To get that free download, just go to nursing.com slash 50 meds. That's five zero nursing.com slash 50 meds. We love you guys. We want you to succeed. That's why we provide clear, concise, and visual supplement for nursing school and the clinical floor. We love you guys. Go out and be your best selves. Happy nursing.